Ah, those horny, horny Germans. Nineteen Twenty Three's Warning Shadows is a film about shadows that warn, basically. The plot centers around a wealthy man whose wife is the town's main attraction. Everyone is sneaking by, trying to catch a peek of the beautiful woman. Literally everyone in the film with a penis is after her or her housemate, which is a shame when 99% of the cast do have a penis. There are four men in particular who pose a threat to the marriage. Yet the husband hosts a dinner for these four men. This at first seems a risky move, as we watch through countless scenes of these men's obvious advances and the wife's playful acceptance of their games. The man is, quite rightfully, pissed. There's no Deutsch cuckolding here, my friends, nein. He grows madder, angrier, and drunker as the night goes on. But alas, some form of strange puppeteer or magician is also present at the party. He is credited as the Shadow Player, which is indeed an appropriate name. Through playing with shadows, he channels the primal energy in the room into a performance, which soon magically incorporates the cast into the play itself. What occurs then is horror. A clear vision of a descent into jealous madness, betrayal, and tragic murder. This is what awaits the group if they continue down this dark path. While all may seem well in the end, the characters and the audience both are left wondering if the ghastly visions really occurred or not. When it comes down to it, Warning Shadows is a very simple film. This is exemplified by the characters, who have no name, but are simply called Man, His Wife, The Gentleman. And interestingly, like 1922's Dancer Macabre, we have another character labelled Youth. Just like the name Man would suggest, the characters lack any real depth beyond their singular motives. The man is jealous and angry. The servants are servants. The wife is lustful and desirable, and every other dude just wants to soil their fancy pantaloons. The simplicity is welcome, however, as, in its original form, the film has no intertitles. The storytelling here is cinema in its truest sense. A purely visual experience. So, it is obvious the creative team cared little about character, dialogue, and intricate plotting. It is even more obvious that their focus lies on the shadows themselves. Shadows were a staple of German Expressionism, appearing prominently throughout all the classics of the movement. Oftentimes, shadows were painted onto the sets in addition to the real shadows and silhouettes. More shadows, they said. More. More. Meh. They added to a grim atmosphere which reflected the poverty and darkness of 1920s post-war life in Germany. In Warning Shadows, the shadows take centre stage, quite literally. Without dialogue or titles, the shadows adopt the responsibility to showcase the character's feelings. Watching the silhouette of the woman you desire while you are stuck outside in the dark. Caressing her shadow, but you are too afraid to even do that much yet the act brings you that much closer to the real touch. Catching your wife's potential adultery, the vision obscured, your mad mind filling in the blanks. The violent rejection of what you are becoming. And the creeping fear of death that haunts you through the hallway. and the playfulness of the shadow player. That playfulness is shared by the film's director, Chicago-born Arthur Robertson, who uses their theatrics to begin the film and indicate the different acts of the movie as it progresses. The film is at its best when playing with the shadows. Even when action occurs, the focus is almost always on the dancing black outlines towering across the walls than the actual action itself. Outside of those scenes, there is some entertainment to be had. The build-up of the husband's madness, while the wife's suit is becoming increasingly bold, is playfully enjoyable and keeps audiences interested in the film.
however, the film admittedly feels slow at times, and after the halfway mark, if there are no shadow playing or action occurring on screen, the film falls victim to repetition and moments of boredom. That said, there is certainly some creativity on show. So if you are a fan of German expressionism, come on down. down.